Well, hi there, it's Marla Greenholm Coach. And you know, it's really hard to believe that January, whoops, 2024 is right around the corner. Oh my gosh, how does it come so fast? I thought this would be a fun opportunity to take a look back at what all has happened at Green Home Coach this year. And honestly, this has been the most productive year I've had since I moved to Oklahoma City seven years ago. So it's been a really full year with a lot of exciting things going on and so many things that I hope you've been able to take advantage of as I have worked with um, the Green Home Coach team to bring more and more to our Green Home Coach community. Because, you know, it's all about finding the resources and the steps for you and your clients and all the folks in your life to have healthier, more comfortable homes. And, you know, we've done that with a bunch of different programs this year. We hope that you've been able to take advantage of some of them. Um, one that has been really a lot of fun for me because it's um, helped me to build another community has been building up the trusted partner network for Green Home Coach. If you haven't checked this out yet, check it out on our website. Go to the trusted partner link at the top of greenhomecoach.com where you'll find companies that I have been working with for some time now, like Wellness Within Your Walls for health and wellness certifications and products, or Realty Sage, a place where you can list an energy efficient, green, sustainable home um, and heck, get actually recognized and known for those additional features that are in the home to contribute to us. Or even somebody like Elemental Green, um, this is my friend Sheridan Foster that I've known for so long and she's doing great work with resources for green products, green homes and zero energy projects. So check these out. Um, in addition to that, the other big thing that happened this year for me professionally was I became a national green building standard verifier, which means I can now um, actually do the certification steps for a home to be certified with the National Green Building Standard. So we did not have a lot of resources here in Oklahoma. So I have worked with the program for years and all my verifier friends asked me what took me so long. So here I am. So if you're interested in getting a home or a multifamily project, um, remodel or new construction, National Green Building Standard certified, call me. We can help you with this. We had a plethora of workshops, podcasts, blogs. I even got to be on a few podcasts and a couple of videos this year. And so that was super exciting. I love being able to reach even more of our community this way. I also had an opportunity to speak both at the International Builder Show back in February with three other wonderful, wonderful people. Um, Jillian Pritchard Cook from Wellness Within Your Walls, Mark La Liberté from construction instruction and Bill Hayward from the Hayward score and we had a full house so it was very exciting for us to be able to share all about healthier homes and communities at that um, that huge conference that happens every year we also got a chance to take a similar presentation with three of us out of that group and um, to the en energy and environmental building alliance conference which was held in October so love that we're getting out there I also got to do something really new here in Oklahoma City for our local community where I partnered with Tracy Walton of Plenty Mercantile to hold our very first Oklahoma Sustainability Summit. And we had a really exciting day with people there joining forces, sharing resources and sharing ideas about what we could do here in Oklahoma. And, you know, it's just, it just takes that first time to get started. So if you're here in Oklahoma, check us out because we're planning to do it again next year. The other resource that we really worked hard to get to you this year was the Healthier Home Checklist. And you can find this on the Green Home Coach website. And this is just a really simple one-page checklist to help you get started with a couple of little things around your own home or your client's home, and then really look at where else you can go if you want to do more. So I hope you'll find that resource as a great way for you to get started. Um, from an involvement and professional side, I also have been very involved with the National Association of Home Builders, Healthier Homes and Communities Subcommittee, that's a mouthful, and vice chair this year, and I'm going to be chair in 2024, 
that this is a great way for a lot of professionals to come together and share what's working and get resources out to each other and really help to share the word among the building community and the people we serve in the building community. So that too has really just kind of dovetailed in with everything else that we've been doing. Um, so I would also like to put a big, huge thank you out to my my team. I say that in air quotes because I have three ladies that work with me part-time and um, on a service basis to help with all kinds of things for the behind the scenes work like emails and blogs and social media. And so big, huge kudos to Sam and Amy and Beth. I could not do this without you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Um, you also have heard if you follow me at all that I have gotten super involved with construction camp, construct my future. And this is one of the projects I'm doing as green home coach and I am loving it. It is so much fun and it is, just amazing to watch these middle school kids come into this camp and learn how to build something, build a toolbox and how to maybe climb a little a little um, pole as they're learning to do that like they would do in the electrical world. And we even had kids learn how to weld this past year. So we're really looking forward to getting this going again for 2024 here in Oklahoma and hoping to maybe start spreading it out to some other locations in 24 and 25. So if you're interested in learning more about Construct My Future Construction Camp and how you might be able to bring it to your location, give me a call because I would love to share it with you. It is so, so fun and so needed. We need our kids to know that there's great careers in the construction industry and the skilled trades. So that work has been incredibly fulfilling and um, I also, believe it or not, was president of the Oklahoma Renewable Energy Council this year. I had no idea that so many wonderful things were going to happen this year. We had a couple of events that we were able to do in the Oklahoma City community for outreach at both the Wind Festival and Earth Day in April. We had some very blustery April days that we got to participate out there. It's just a great chance to talk with the community. And we actually had a um, place where the kids could come build paper plate pinwheels. And in Windy, Oklahoma, those were a big hit. And we also held a joint meeting with one of our other community partner organizations, um, OKC Beautiful, and again, just this opportunity to reach more communities. So I really guess it's kind of been a year of community now, although I look back on it that way. Um, and that community has extended on a personal basis into my family and our friends and our special friends that are family, family, and we had some beautiful time with our granddaughter and our our kids and um, cousins. So and very dear friends that are just a huge part of our life. We're kind of spread out in multiple cities. So I love the fact that we get to travel and go see them and that we're able to do that. And a lot of times I am able to work and travel. And so that just works out great. We also had two family weddings this past year, and we have two more coming up next year. So <laughs> we are marrying bunch right now. So that's been a lot of fun as well. And we had um, even a chance to take a girl's trip with my sister and my two sisters and my mom. Um, I also had a friend, a younger friend here get married, and I got to throw a wedding shower with another friend. And I have not thrown a wedding shower in ages. So that was uh, kind of took me back a little bit, but that was a lot of fun planning that and getting that off the ground. And she is now very happily married and the wedding was beautiful. So, you know, it really just kind of all wraps up with now that it's December, it's going to be a quieter month for me and Scott, for my husband. He had another surgery the end of November. So if you've been following me for some time, you know that he had some significant medical issues four and five years ago that we thought we were done with, but we weren't. <laughs> so we got to go another round. Yay. Um, but he's doing well. He's making progress. He's still um, in recovery stage, but we're going to have a nice, quiet, uh, lots of Christmas movies December here for the rest of the month. So thank you for all you do to be a part of the Green Home Coach community. And I just want to tell you how thankful I am for each and every one of you, your support, your working together, your outreach, 
um, your notes, your messages on social media, all of it means so much and helps to uplift this entire community. And Green Home Coach would be nothing if it wasn't for each of you. So I thank you for that. I'm so grateful for you. And I wish you the very, very happiest of holidays, whichever ones you celebrate. For me and my family, it's Merry Christmas. And have a great rest of 2023. And we'll see you in 2024. Have a great green December. And we'll see you in 24. Take care.